Well, how do you do again? This is Mike McGee, your doll collector. And I know I haven't done in a video in a long time, but this is Christmas and I decided to, show, uh, to have a video to show you what Santa Claus got for me for Christmas. And it, it wasn't dolls, but it, it's still very much interesting. I just wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. Now I'm gonna get my glasses on. First of all, it's this wonderful shirt. Short sleeve shirt that mixes tan and white and black. And the label states Denim and Flowers by Ricky and Simon. Europe M, USA M, Mexico, and that's 40. That's my size. Yeah, medium, medium. That's my size. And um, it's a very comfortable shirt. Now I'll show you what I got next, what Santa Claus got for me next. These wonderful pair of jeans. See, and it's called Indi Indigo Wisdom. That's, that's what they're called. And they're stretchable and, and they're very, very, un very comfortable. And these are the kind of jeans I like. I hate those jeans where you can't, they're not stretchable. And, uh, and it's 36 by 30. It's it's 64% cotton, 34% polyester, 1% um, radon, and 1% spandum. And, and uh, these 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 jeans fit me very comfortably. Now this now the other Christmas gift that I got. Now mind you, I'm a light drinker, but this is what Santa Claus gave me. Evan Williams eggnog, the original Southern eggnog. And uh, here it is, this is behind it. And uh, it says, made with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, blended with whiskey and rum and brandy. So I gotta be careful about this because I'm drug sensitive. And it says at the side, um, real eggnog blended with Evans Williams straight whiskey bourbon and other favorite five, uh, other fine spirits, uh, then satisfied with holiday spices for this original uh, Southern style holiday. Prepared, bottled by the Evans Williams Company, brand down Kentucky 2020. Evan Williams eggnog, this is behind this. Uh, it says, uh, a Southern holiday tradition made with better with Evan Williams bourbon. And it just has government warnings and all that. But this is a good, if you're a moderate drinker and you're not an alcoholic, this is certainly a good thing to drink during the holidays, even New Year's Eve. You're gonna use this instead of champagne. Now, the next thing I got Santa Claus brought me was this light wine. It's a dry wine, and it's called Rosé Delightful Sweet, and it's from Barefoot. Be uh, it says Barefoot, most rewarded, most rewarded wine brand, and it says U.S. Conditions. And uh, this just has a lot of detail in it, not much light. But uh, this is the kind of wine that you usually drink when you don't like sweet wine. You know, right before you eat. Uh, when, you, when you don't like sweet wine, this is what you call a dry wine. But even though I tolerate dry wine, I really prefer sweet wine. And also, different relatives besides Santa Claus got me this. And, Oh, this one will turn me an alcoholic. I got two bottles of the same thing, and it's my favorite kind of uh, wine. It's sweet wine. It is Taylor Port, which I used to confuse it with Bristol Cream, because when I was a little kid, uh, my grandfather bought that expensive white Bristol Cream. I don't know whether it's still in existence or not, but I got this Taylor 
New York port, and this is my favorite kind of port. One time I bought Fairbanks port, and I tried it, and it tastes like prune juice, alcohol, and I hate that. But this is probably the best kind of sweet wine. And, um, and it says, uh, Taylor New York port, uh, a rich family taste, smooth finish, smooth finish, uh, makes, uh, makes, uh, something red Taylor port, the perfect choice to pair with your favorite desserts. Oh, this is supposed to be a dessert wine. I didn't know it. No wonder it was sweet. I guess you do drink brandy with ice cream. But wouldn't it be better if you made a special ice cream with brandy? No, excuse me. Not brandy. Ice, a dessert with built with uh, port mixed in it or something. Well, anyway, this is what I got. Now... I'm going to show you the other stuff that I got more in close up, some more in detail. Well, I made a mistake. I forgot there's some other stuff I also got for Chris before I show you the videos I got. This is a trailer pack that I also got for Christmas. It's not a fanny pack, but it's if you use it, you know, I use it all the time and I know it's out of style, but it's more convenient for me. And uh, you use it when you're, you're hiking and all that, but you also use it for everything. Thing. It has three openings. And in, uh, here, even back. And it has an inside zipper. It has an inside zipper, if you can see it. Um, see, inside zipper. Inside zipper, probably can't see it, but. show you something else. I also got these wonderful blankets for Christmas. And this to me is the most comfortable one because it's a little bit longer than the other one. Now a relative gave me one of these things and I had a comfortable sleep last night on it. See? And uh, somebody else got me this uh, smaller one. It's, it's a it's a too, little too light, but it's, it's pretty comfortable and has a lot of uh, pat, nice patterns. See? Now I'll show you some other interesting stuff. Now the next Christmas present that I got, if you can see this, is the uh, Kino Lober, the Marion Davis Silent, the Lights of New York, the Lights of Old Broadway. And uh, I've been waiting on this for a long time. I didn't think it was ever going to be put on home video. I saw the color footage of the uh, sequence in the uh, scene from in, in the book about Technicolor by the Eastman House. And I discovered this was out since May. And I, Anna, Santa gave this to me as a good, nice, nice, good, nice Christmas present. And I'll read you the synopsis behind, behind the movie. Turn it around. And it said, throughout the 1920s, MGM released a series of lavishly produced films showcasing the talents of comic actress Marion Davis often placing her in nostalgic turn-of-the-century settings. Among most elaborate was the lights of old Broadway, set among the music halls in the shanty towns that what was soon to become known as the Great White Way just before, just before the streets and the marquees were electrified. However, forever, changing the face of New York City, Davis plays a twin, orphan childhood, who um, grew up unaware of her of what the uh, of one's another's existence, and is taken by a wealthy socialite while Scrappy Feli lives with brawling Irish American Tandio family. Class conscience 
romantic entanglement ensues, enslavement by Davy's boundless physical energies and impeccable comic timing. This 2K master derives from the Library of Congress 2018-35 in preservation of the film, which includes footage uh, color via three different techniques, two strip technicolor, a hand legal process, and tinting. And also, another interesting thing is that Marion Davies had her own personal copy, but the color sequences were faded. The Library of Congress version, the color sequences were okay, but uh, the Technicolor book claiming they were incomplete. So, um, so uh, you know, this kind of film interests me. In another scene where they turn on the electricity and the color comes on, they had to use the legal process because red and green could, could, couldn't pick up blue and they show the American flag. And so they had to legal it to give it the bluish color. Now my next haul was a replacement of an old DVD I had. And, uh, for years I've had the DVD version of Fantasia, but it got worn out. So uh, so Santa Claus had helped me to get the to get a new version, a replacement. And it is the it's the Blu-ray DVD version, but guess what it is? Since they have Disney hasn't reached it in the US, it's a Japanese version. Everything here is in Japanese, but guess what? It has the American flag, so it fits in American players. It might be zero regions, but anyway, everything's in Japanese here, and um, even though they got the English version, but I desperately needed a replacement for this thing, and um, I'm sure it'll be pretty good. And it has a backup legal, a DVD and a Blu-ray. And it says Fantasia, and has a picture of Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. And it says Fantasia represents our most, um, most exciting adventure. It says English, American, uh, Japanese, and Chinese. So uh, it ought to be pretty good. Now the next one I got, Santa Claus aided me, uh, aided me uh, through a vinegar syndrome, uh, Black Friday, Black Friday sale. I got the special Paul Morrissey Frankenstein special. I had a bad anaglyphic 3D version, and YouTube had a color code version. But this is a fully restored version. It comes out with two things. It comes with an extra box cover. Now the 3D version uh, comes out with a 3D with a 3D poster, and you open this up like this. Frankenstein 3D. And uh, in this version, it not only has it's a restored Polaroid version. You have a Polaroid projector or a Polaroid TV set. You know, and if you don't have it, you have the um, uh, anaglyphic version. And I think it does have some glasses in there. I'm not going to open it up. Now, um, what it says is that deranged scientist Baron von Frankenstein, with the help a bizarre assistant, Otto, is determined to create a new race which he will be the leader. To achieve his objective, construct two parted zombies. Uh, a farmhand begins with an affair, an affair with Baron's specially frustrated wife of all searching for, for missing friend, Sacha, whose head and brain has been used used for Frankenstein's purpose. A delectably gory, cynical, social satire, highly claimed from Paul Morrissey, mixed blood, flesh for Frankenstein. Among the most original, transgressive interpretations of Mary Shelley's classic novel, with the exceptions of casts by Udo Kier, um, what might be the iconic performance, Joe D'Alessandro, Monique Van Buren, Italian child star Nicoletta 
Nail Me, and a feature of a lush soundtrack by Claudio Gisi. Place for Frankenstein becomes an immediately midnight cult sensation. Vinegar Syndrome proud to present this true genre classic on 4K UHD for the first time um, with original 3D newly restored in this version. Region free Blu ray 3D, two viewing options. Digital 3D. Uh, 3D to cable TV player and anaglyphic, which will work on all 3D players. Now, here's another version which I'm stuck with, but that you asked for it. This is the UK. This is the this is the 4K version, and I don't got a 4K player, but it's 4K flat. Oh, God, I swear. And. Uh, this is the four. This is the 4K version, and uh, in this version, it has the making of Frankenstein. But here at the end, it says Blu-ray, so it might be a Blu-ray copy in here for me to see the making of Frankenstein. Because if it's in the 4K disc, I can't play it because I don't think 4K is. I don't think the players that I got are are compatible backwards, unless I'm wrong. But this version has the making of Frankenstein. And it has the two box covers. Last of my Christmas haul. is Wait a minute. I'm sure I got it focused right the flesh and blood show and I got this because the finale of it is in 3d and it comes in two versions Polaroid and anaglyphic it was made in the 70s, and uh, they don't provide the 3D glasses in it, but it's red and blue 3D for, for those who don't have a player. And uh, the plot goes, it says, Flesh and Blood Show, billed as the appalling amalgam of carnage and carnality, Peter Walker's Flesh and Blood Show's honor Homage to, homage to blood splatter, sex smeared theater known as the Grand Gugio, Guggenau, still haunted by an especially tragic production of Othello. A sensational theater reopens the doors as a groovy re re review, review and has severe performance victophobia of its performance full fall victim to his deadly curse. Newly mastered in HD, the original 35M negative with special edition includes a newly filmed interview with Walker, as well as the legendary 3D sequence presented here both in stereoscopic and anaglyphic formats. And it says special features Flesh and Blood Censorship, interviewed by Peter Walker by Elijah Dr Drenner. 3D sequence, 10 minutes, stereoscopic format, requires 3D television. 3 sequence, anaglyphic, requires red-blue glasses, original trailer. UK 1972, color, black and white. Produced and directed by Peter Walker, screenplay by Alfred Shaughnessy. Photographed by Peter Je Jessup. Music by Cyril Orn Orn Ornadell. With Ray Brooks, Jenny Hanley, and Lewin Peters, and Patrick Barr. Well, if you truly like my Christmas haul, please, um,
if you truly like my Christmas haul, well, please like and subscribe and express likes and dislikes. I want to hear from all. Thank you. Bye.